and Jairus or Angira was a Vedic Rishi of Hinduism. He is described in the Rigveda as a teacher of divine knowledge, a mediator between men and gods, as well as stated in other hymns to be the first of Agni Devas. He is known by both names Angiras and Angira. In some texts he is called Angiras and in some he is called Angira. In some texts, he is considered to be one of the seven great sages or Saptarishis, but in others he is mentioned but not counted in the list of seven great sages. In some manuscripts of Atarva Veda, the text is attributed to Atharvanjarasa, which is a compound of sage Atharvan and Angira. The student family of Angira are called Angira, and they are credited to be the authors of some hymns in the first, second, fifth, eighth, ninth, and tenth books of the Rigveda. By the time of the composition of the Rigveda, the Anjirases were an old Rishi clan, and were stated to have participated in several myths. Many hymns of the Rigveda credit the Anjirases as their authors, mainly in Mandalas 1 and 8. Various Anjirasa subclans, including the Sunahotras, the Gotamas, and the Bharadvajas composed Mandalas 2, 4, and Vi respectively. Other than crediting authorship, the Vedic texts mention sage and gyras in various roles such as a fire priest or a singer. For example, the allegorical hymn 3. 31 of the Rigveda calls him a singer, the most inspired one came, assuming a friendly attitude, the rock made ripe fruit for the one who performs the kind deed. The young hero attained with the youths, assuming a warlike attitude, and here right away, the singing and gyras appeared. Rigveda 3. 31. 7. Translator, Tatyana J. Elizarinkova in the Vedic tradition linked to the Atarva Veda, Sage Atharvan was more revered while Sage and Jairus was controversial. The auspicious practices, virtues and the pursuit of good for others were attributed to Atharvan, while the hostile sorcery and pursuit of harm unto others were attributed to Anjairus. According to Max Muller, a professor of Sanskrit and Indology at the Oxford University, the sage and gyras in Vedic literature is different from the plural term Anjirasa, and these terms refer to different people. The Anjiras Rishi is different from the group of sorcerers and Atarvaveta also named Anjirasa, and according to Muller, the Vedic Rishi is also different from a class of divine beings who too are called Anjirasa in the Vedic texts and described as sprung from Kuls. In Buddhist Pali canonical texts such as Diga Nikaya, Tivijya Sutta describes a discussion between the Buddha and Vedic scholars of his time. The Buddha names ten rishis, calls them early sages and makers of ancient verses that have been collected and chanted in his era, and among those ten rishis is Anjiras. The name Anjiras is applied generically to several Puranic individuals. Further, the Vedic sage Anjiras appears in medieval Hindu texts with contradictory roles as well as many different versions of his birth, marriage and biography. In some, he is described to be the son of Brahma, in others he is one of many Prajapatis. Depending on the legend, he has one, two or four wives. In one myth, his wife is stated to be Shirapa and his sons are Yudhithya, Samvartana, and Brahaspashi. Other accounts say that he married Smriti, the daughter of Daksha and later married Svata. Yet other Puranic accounts state, he married Shuba and they had seven daughters named after aspects of fire and a son named Brihaspati. In some legends, sage Brihaspati is his son. According to one legend, Anjirasa turned his senses inwards and meditated on Parabrahman, the creator of the creator, for several years. The great Tehas he got by birth had multiplied infinitely by his penance. He attained many divine qualities, powers, and riches, and control over many worlds. But he was oblivious of all the worldly attainments and did not stop his penance. Due to this penance he became one with the Parabrahman and thus attained the state of Brahmarshi. He had visions of many Vedic mantras and brought them to this earthly world. He is credited as being the source of great number of Vedic hymns and mantras, and also believed to have introduced fire worship along with sage Brigu. He is one of Saptarishis in the Puranic mythologies. Gora of the Anjiras family is identified by some scholars as Nemanatha, the 22nd Tirthankara in Jainism. Thanks for watching.